Hi, today we are going to talk about Twitter bot or not by using machine learning algorithm. My, myself as Vignesh Ramesh and with my team members Raven Mantapalli and Varun Nilango, we are going to present this entire project. So the overview of the problem. So this project is aimed at analyzing the effectiveness of the performance, effectiveness and the performance of different machine learning algorithms in its ability to classify Twitter accounts as bots or humans. For obvious reason, this is treated as classification problem. The project evaluates the generalization performance and the predictive performance of all models on the future data. Based on the result, we find the best suited machine learning algorithm for a given hypothesis space. So the data set. So the user account information was obtained from the Kegel and uh, which contains 19 features in those, uh, in those data set. Additionally, we thought we could collect all the tweets for corresponding users and uh, we collected the last 100 tweets for the respective user and we merged two data set and we got a total feature of around 49 features. So with the help of that, we also did uh, all the pre-processing for those corresponding features. So the first thing is that the missing data. So we, with the help of the pandas, uh, drop in a, we used uh, <coughs> the all the medians of the uh, feature corresponding feature to fill the missing values and the null values. And uh, we kept, and uh, all the categorical data was encoded into a discrete numerical values. Smoothing was also done all the to the numerical values with the for the for in case uh, if there is any zero in the uh, corresponding features. And uh, we extracted time-based information and derived several new features like uh, the distribution of uh, uniformity of tweets, tweets day, and also the, distrib the dis distribution of uniformity of uh, tweet hours. Uh, and the, uh, finally, we split the data into test and training. The test holds the 20% of the data while the training is, uh, has the 80% of the data. In order to uh, bring all the features in into a standard scale, we also did a uh, feature scaling and uh, with the help of the SKLN uh, uh, standard, standard, standard scaler, we did uh, all the feature into a, we brought all the features into a standard scale. So feature selection is an important part in the machine learning process in which uh, uh, the corresponding features, the, all the most important features are selected from a, from a collection of features. Uh, having too many relevant features in your data can decrease the accuracy of the model. So in order to uh, in order to predict uh, with a higher accuracy, we did a, a feature selection uh, and also to in order to reduce the overfitting of the entire model. So for this feature for the feature selection, we used a recursive feature elimination algorithm with a cross validation, and uh, we also used another algorithm uh, called AEC curve for a uh, feature selection. So in the first graph, you can see the number of features increases. Uh, the corresponding accuracy values also increase and we found out that the optimum value of the features were uh, 24 and in the second graph you can see that uh, for different features you can see the R R AEC curve um, on the graph and uh, with the help of the two feature subset we brought uh, we brought into a single scale by using pandas rank method and then uh, we applied logistic regression and a decision tree uh, to predict the feature set, whether to use both uh, uh, whether to use uh, the RFE one or the AUC rank curve, and uh, we plotted the ROC curve for both the uh, logistic regression and the decision tree with the corresponding feature subset, and uh, the output is shown in the graph third. And we selected the best feature from that, and we used those, the, that feature set as the final feature to for our model. So the all the uh, ML algorithm models will be talked by Raven Matapalli. <coughs> Thank you, Vignesh. Decision trees. This was used as a base estimator for our prediction. Parameter like max depth of tree, minimum purity split was chosen using grid search. It had a test data accuracy of 88% and a cross validation mean of around 87%. From the confusion matrix, it was evident. Uh, it was considering more humans to be bots and than bots to be humans. It has a false negative of 21 and a false positive of 40. Despite experimenting with several hyperparameters, the accuracy did not improve further. This was an indication that an ensemble techniques was required to improve accuracy. The IOC curve and the AUC for each fold is shown in the bell diagram. Uh, logistic regression. As the classifier assigns weights to features we needed to scale the data in order to reduce the influence of high scale features going prediction 
results on using gradient descent optimization we obtain a prediction accuracy of 85% on test data and 79% on crash validation performing L2 regularization improved the cross validation accuracy to 85% limited memory BFGS optimization method was used to find optimal reach and L2 regularization and the accuracy improved to 86% in order to further improve the improve the accuracy polynomial feature was derived with a polynomial degree of 3 and increased prediction accuracy to 89% uh, ensemble techniques will be explained by my friend Varun ensemble techniques uh, an ensemble is supervised learning technique for combining multiple weak learners or models to produce a strong learner uh, the first ensemble technique that we are going to look is uh, random forests. It combines uh, decision trees or weak decision trees to produce a strong learner. Uh, for our initial configuration, we had 10 decision trees and each of these decision trees had a max depth of 3. Uh, this resulted in an accuracy of 0.89%. Um, to, in order to increase the efficiency uh, of our prediction, uh, the max depth of the decision tree was increased to 6 and the number of estimators to 50. This resulted in a higher cross validation accuracy of 0.91. Uh, on further improving our performance uh, of random forest, we did ADA boosting. In order to make our model more sensitive to noisy data and outliers, uh, we use adaptive boosting technique. Uh, after using this technique, the overall prediction accuracy uh, improved to, to 0.92. We also used a voting classifier. Armed with an ensemble of random forests and ADA boosting, also with logistic regression and gradient boosting, this classifier selects the majority class from the predictions made by all the base classifiers. In conclusion, it's evident that uh, random forests and ADA boost, random forests with ADA boosting and voting classifiers have dominated the prediction. Um, on top of that, decision tree and logistic regression seem to be uh, on par uh, on another on second level. Um, on top of that, any future work would involve in, uh, would involve clustering of tweet text, sentiment analysis, and natural language processing to help with the bot prediction. We would like to thank our professor, Mr. Gustavo, for his advice throughout this semester. Thank you.